I'm just going to be doing a video here on my Mose and the Gaunt uh, crate coffee table here. Picked up this empty crate um, a couple weeks ago, and so now I'm going to start uh, trying to clean it up a bit and turn it into a coffee table. So just kind of taking a look at it. It does have um, you know, some original markings I'm going to try and keep on here. But there are a lot of areas I'm going to have to kind of repair the wood. The bottom there is pretty dirty. So I'll have to repair those handles a little bit. There's some chunks taken out of this top, but I'm actually going to build a new top uh, to hold some glass um, so you'll be able to see through. Um, and I'm going to display a couple of the rifles in here. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do to kind of get started is take this this old top off here. All right, so got the top off finally. Um, did take off the hard work, so I'm going to try and reuse those. Um, the inside actually looks pretty good. Just needs to be cleaned up and some of that paper removed, um, cut out. And I might put a coat of chewing oil in here or something. Uh, but the inside looks really good. So that won't need a whole lot of work. Just the outside that's going to need uh, some TLC. Um, patching these, the damaged wood and trying to find a paint color to match. So next step on this is I'm actually going to try and take that lid up to Home Depot and try and get a close paint match um, to that color. Alright, so I went ahead and just flipped this thing over and scrubbed it down with some warm water and um, one of those uh, sponges there. Uh, got a lot of that dirt off. I don't know if the picture at the camera showing or not, but the heck, just the bottom was black and now it's um, a lot better shape than it was. So I went ahead, got it all cleaned up, and I'm just going to wait for it to dry. Just going to start on the bottom here and start kind of filling in these areas uh, with some wood putty or wood filler. Just to, yeah, like right there. Just to get everything nice and smooth again. Just going to let this dry, and then we'll start filling it up. Okay, you'll see I just kind of use this uh, wood filler here and just kind of started filling in some of these sections here on the bottom. Uh, these are these were pretty deep, so it's going to take more than one coat. So I just kind of put them in here. I'll sand it down after it dries for about 24 hours and then put some more on there until it's nice and flush. I forgot to so. add in the wood filling uh, parts of the video here, but basically what I did is I just finished wood filling it and sanded it. Did another coat of wood fill, sanded that and cleaned it all up and got it nice and clean and then just put a coat of primer over those areas and then I was able to find a match similar to what I had at Home Depot and just started painting it. Alright so I just put on the second coat of paint um, so I'm just letting this dry before I do anything else and um, so color matching this was pretty hard. It ended up going through a couple different samples until I found one pretty close. Uh, I think the color I came out with was Olive Shadow. Um, it was the closest I could find because there were several different shades of green on this thing. So I just got something close and then I just painted around the, the original markings and everything. So it looks pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And start installing the feet. But Came out pretty good. I mean, got rid of a lot of that flat crap that was on here, so. Alright, so this is an update as to where I'm at with this uh, crate project right now. Um, as you can see, I got it completely painted, um, and I'll show you I got the legs installed on there. I put the original top back on because I haven't had time to make the a new top with a the glass in it for the coffee table part so I'm just using the old one for right now until I can get around to making that um, might be later this summer but um, so right now I'm just using it kind of like a display case in my office and um, 
everything. So got it all painted, everything's dried, and then I installed the legs, which are gonna be kind of hard to see, but I used these grenades uh, as legs that I found at a local surplus store and just painted them green. Um, and I just found some bolts that fit the threading of them and actually ins installed them and they work great. So um, I'll kind of open it up and show you what I've done inside so far. All right, so looking inside, this is kind of where I store um, all my mows and stuff, basically. Um, you can see one gun, I'm actually working on the stock and the one that's missing there, I'm working on that currently as well. But um, on the inside, I cleaned it up, got all the paper out of there, um, wiped it down really good, and then just used a tuing oil, a um, couple coats of that on the inside, and it looks great. Um, wood's in pretty good shape in there, so I just, you know, use that tuing oil on all the wood as far as that goes. So um, eventually, I'm going to run lights, some rope lights in there when I build the, the top. But right now, this is just kind of a cool little storage container for, for in my office and everything. So you can see for the, for the legs, I just drilled a hole and then put a bolt through there and it screwed right in. So I did that on all four sides. The corner there. Pretty easy. So just wanted to kind of do an update as far as where I'm at with this. Um, one of these days I'll get around to making a new top and then installing those lights and it'll be done. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments.